Hi guys, welcome back to Challenger Four Wheel Drive and thank you for watching. Today we're on the Paterson Range Fire Trail driving down to the Burrolo Creek Campground and Picnic Area. Now this is technically still Sydney, we're at Currajong Heights, so this is why it's such a great half or full day mini adventure for the family. And if you want, you can camp here and stay longer. Camper trailers are welcome, and you actually camp beside your vehicle. There are barbecues and toilets, but you'll need to bring water and your own firewood. There's an easy bushwalk to Bulkamata Falls, which is temporarily closed right now because of storm damage, but normally that's an excellent bush experience for the family. This area is the Lower Gross Valley of the Blue Mountains National Park. This is the exit of the Burrolo Fire Trail, which is also closed due to storm damage. I reckon these guys would have been cold last night. They were sleeping in swags on the ground. But the campground is a good size. Just taking the opportunity to have a bit of a bushwalk since we've driven down into the campground. It's so quiet you can't hear anything. All right. One trail in is closed and uh, you can only come in on the other trail, which is normally the one that we would go out on. But um, it's still, it's a really nice environment. Pristine bush so close to Sydney, that's a big attraction, I'd say and it is really nice bush. A lot of trees down, of course, with all the storms, the wind and the rain. I think this bit here is the overflow in case the main campground is full. Now we're going to drive back out on the same fire trail and have a look at the power lines which are just outside the National Park. Okay, so we're looking for some four-wheel driving, and this is not exactly Lithgow, but if you're with the family, at least you won't get into too much trouble, as the four-wheel driving is pretty mild. The cafe at Bilpin Fruit Bowl is only a few hundred metres from the track, so we bought a pie and two coffees before going down to the campground, and we can highly recommend the coffee. Plus there's homemade cakes and scones, jams, local honey, souvenirs, etc, etc. Okay guys, thanks again for watching, and I might see you out on the tracks. Bye.